What's going on you virgins? It is me Sam Miller also known as Small PP Person and for the past month I've been reacting and roasting White Hat Jr. And to be honest I think it is time to stop. But I'm not going to. Because today I'll be reviewing some of the apps that the genius kid at White Hat Jr. have made. But before we start let me ask you a question. Do you suck at data structures? Do you suck at algorithms? Do you suck at life? Great! Me too! But not anymore thanks to Joma Class. Joma Class is a subscription service for getting high quality coding video courses. Exactly the opposite of my sh content. When users become a Joma Class member they get access to all current and future courses. Right now you can learn about programming fundamentals for loops with Python, SQL for data analytics and of course data structures and algorithms. Which is my favorite course because it includes high quality animations that makes it so easy for idiots like me to understand. Like here, I was learning about linked lists because I still don't know what the hell a node is, but this video explained it all so well and so easy that even white hat junior kids will understand it. And not only that, but you get new videos every single week. If you have a question, you get an answer and all your assignments get reviewed. By who? By the one and only Joma. Who is Joma? Let me tell ya. Joma is a full-time software engineer in Silicon Valley. He has a bachelor degree in computer science. He has had internships at LinkedIn, Facebook, right? All right, he made me say this, okay? But if you don't know who he is, he's the guy that made this video. I have no choice but to use my secret weapon. Hash -bapu. So go and become a Joma Class member right now by clicking the link in the description. Thank you Joma Class for sponsoring this video and here we go. Alright, so today we'll be reviewing two or three different apps, I, I don't know, you count. And let's see if they don't suck. Uh that much. So the first app is called anti-bullying app and since the beginning that sounds dumb because how the hell do you prevent bullying with an app? Is it like the bully comes and says hey bro I'm gonna kick your ass and you'll be like uh-uh I have the anti-bullying app bitch. That's not how bullying works all right? All right but this is the app in the Google Play Store and you can tell th this ain't good because it has a lot of one-star reviews. All right but let's not judge it yet. So this is the first thing that you see when you open the app and look at the bottom. W what is this empty space for? I guess if you hold the phone like a total idiot like this then then it's fine otherwise I don't know all right but let's just click on start what would you like to do uh, yeah let's report a bully what is the name of your school all right so I guess you can just choose whichever school is here or type your school name but not type your school name because it has an exclamation mark it's actually type your school name small pp school and we click on next tell us about yourself small pp person how old are you 69. Next. Tell us about the bully. Jesus Christ, are you, are you telling me this is just a form? Are you telling me that people are using this to prevent getting bullied? Like someone is going to punch you in the face and you will say, uh, wait a second bully, I'm gonna fill this form. Alright, let's just finish this. What is your bully's name? I guess, big pp person. Where does the bullying usually take place? My face. And let's just click on next. This thing doesn't even have validations, what the hell? Would you like to talk to a counselor? I mean, I mean, at the beginning I said no, but let's click on yes. Hi, my name is Karen and I am your counselor. How can I help you today? Hello, my PP is being harassed. Send. What? What? It, it didn't even send what I said. This is not even a real chat. Like if I click on send, it doesn't like, oh, now I got stuck. What do I do now? Go back. All right, uh, that's it, that, that's the whole app. All right, so I will rate this app a three out of 10. And those three are just because of this video they have at the beginning, that's it. All right, next app. So this next app is called Ambulance Wiz. And my judgment says this is just an app for calling an ambulance. So just an extra step for calling an ambulance. But here it is in the Google Play Store and this thing <laughs> doesn't even have ratings. So I don't know what to expect. So here we have the app and it looks the same as the one before. We have a title, image, button, and a f***ing empty space. Who, who actually designed this? Chintu? Because th this thing is ugly. Okay, let's actually try. Click and login. My name is your daddy. Phone number 696969. 69, 69. And from... From what, bitch? I don't know. My heart, I guess. So let's just click on submit. Select the type of emergency. I don't know. I'm pregnant. Whatever. Next. Hospital information. Oh my lord, this is another stupid form app. All right, there are two useless things in the world. The first one, me. And the second one, these form apps for emergency cases. Like for real, who's actually having an emergency like dying of lung peepiness and decides to fill up a form instead of calling 911? Like, that make, makes no sense. So all right, let, let's just choose whatever hospital and then click next. If you are stuck in traffic or need more assistance, please press the button below. Yo, and at the bottom they added this note. For more assistance, you will need to call 100. Why not call it 100? That's it! This is dumb. This is the I, I don't know. Alright, so let's just click on the bottom, I guess, and then, alright. 
just a report and then you go back home I guess and and that's it okay next app this app is called Mania's Peekaboo and here we have it in the Google Play Store and as far as I could read this is something that you take a picture of an object and it tells you the name of it which actually sounds pretty cool so let's give it a try okay finally a cool looking app so enter the name of the child I don't know baby pee pee get started I'm gonna select English, of course. All right, so now we have to take a picture of an object. Let's start easy, all right? But so let's take a picture of this remote control. Now I'll just click on check. All right, cool, it shows you the picture and now we have to click to find out what it is. So click to find. Jesus, bro! A hand holding a remote control? Bro, th this is dope! And I think if you click here, it goes text to speech. Let's see. A hand holding a remote control. Bro, bro, this, this is cool. And if an actual kid did this, bro, you are the kid. Okay, let's try something different. Okay, now let's take a picture of this Christmas toy and now click to find it. Bro, a close up of a toy? Jesus! Bro, this, this actually works! What else can we try? Huh. Bro! Bro! Bro, this is not true. This is not true, bro. Listen. A very, very small PB. I get it right! I'm just kidding, of course he didn't get it, Jesus Christ, why had Junior relax? But yeah, bros, this is actually a pretty cool app. So I would rate this actually a 10 out of 10. Alright, so that's it for this week's video. Also, here's the winner of the $100 giveaway that I did last week. So you guys stop calling me scammer, okay? F*** you. Now listen up, if we hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, I will do another giveaway. How about that? So just go and click on the subscribe button, bro, what are you doing? And you might be the winner on the next giveaway. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click on the like button and also leave a comment. You can tell me how you're doing or you can insult me. I, I don't care. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and until then, ciao!